We've had a very strong 6.9 magnitude earthquake today in the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, and it shook Brazil and East Africa, as we'll see in our maps. This is the area of the Pangea separation, as we see here, the animation of it. It's by USGS Animation, ADS. The Earth is growing. The Earth is growing, from what the geologists tell us, at the rate of the way a human fingernail grows every year. So yes, our Earth is changing and it's growing. Let's take a look at the shake map of the area. Here we are at Sizewell Berkeley, the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is the central Mid-Atlantic Ridge. This is the area of our equator. This is exactly on the fault line of the Mid-Atlantic Ridge and we can see that it's between Brazil and East Africa, Liberia, Senegal, Guyana, and um, we had another earthquake today as well in the uh, Arctic Circle, the South Shetland Islands 5.3 shallow quake. That again is uh, near the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Now this is our area. Let's go to our shake map. This is it right here. Of course, USGS stops the block right here, but we can see the intensity of the lines definitely did shake Brazil. Uh, the gray areas here show the population density. This, is, of course, the Sahara Desert. And uh, let's take off the population density you can see. That's it right there. Put it back on again. And let's go to our topographic so you can see the area right there on the fault line of the mid-Atlantic mid Ridge, right there. Obviously, it did shake Brazil, and it did shake Mauritania, Mali, and uh, Eastern Africa, if not even Guyana, here. Okay, going back to our aerial. If you extend the shake lines, obviously you can see that this whole area has been shaken. So they must have felt it. It's 6.9, almost 7 magnitude. It's pretty strong. And this is the area. Nobody, of course, reported feeling it. But this is the area of our regional information. Going back to this, let's see if um, the estimate of the shake map Shake map estimate. Okay. No information on that. But uh, this, what we could see from our own observation, is right on the fault line. This is all magma underneath, as we can see. There are various uh, sections of it that are much more populated. This here, for example, the topographic on this showing us Okay. The Azores Islands, right here. This area here is the junction of the North American Plate, the African Plate, and the Eurasian Plate. Right there are the Azores. And uh, we have had recently, but unfortunately, um, USGS and DeSazio Berkeley take it off. A few days ago, we did have a um, major earthquake in Iceland, which is, as we know, a hot spot. There's mantle plume under there. That's all volcanoes and magma. Okay, so this is our latest right there, and obviously it has shaken. You can see that it's not really that far. It's about uh, a thousand miles away, but uh, it, from the shake map intensity, it shows that they must have been shaken. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge, or MAR, is a mid-ocean ridge a divergent or constructive plate boundary located along the floor of the Atlantic Ocean, part of the longest mountain range in the world. In the North Atlantic, it separates North America from the Eurasian Plate and the African Plate, north and south of the Azores Triple Junction, as we saw before. In the South Atlantic, it separates the African and South American Plates. This is exactly where we had today's quake of 6.9. The ridge extends from a junction with the Gagkel Ridge, northeast of Greenland towards the Bouvet Triple Junction in the South Atlantic. And that's where we had the uh, earthquake 
uh, today again of uh, South Atlantic on the Arctic Circle of 5.3 at the Shetland Islands. Although the Mid-Atlantic Ridge is mostly an underwater feature, portions of it have enough elevation to extend above sea level. For example, in Iceland, the ridge has an average separating rate of two and a half centimeters every year, so it moves very fast, this is all according to Wikipedia. As we know, it's a mountain range with magma, and it's moving at two and a half centimeters a year, so this animation of Pangea and the Earth separating and spreading and widening and enlarging is still going on in that section of the Atlantic Ocean. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.